Hello and greetings, my fellow Lundarkins, and welcome to a, uh, hopefully, sh short video of how to get inside the cannery. As I showed you previously, the puzzle to actually get in here. Yeah, I did have to wait a couple days to get an Aurora. We've already been through the ravine, uh, to the old radio tower to get the code. So I do know the code now, so hopefully I think this should let us in. Even though there's no zero, that's a little weird. Alright, let's get into the door. This is actually my first time being in here. Yeah, I want to make sure you guys captured it. Uh, I captured it with you guys. Alright, grab that. Okay. I don't have a gun either, so Fluffy isn't here. Uh, we have a bit of a problem. Let's just check the loot. This is on Pilgrim settings because I was doing it for speed. Uh, of course, on our interloper runner, we're hitting here for the same... Things. So might not Fluffy might not even be in here, but I did want to check inside. Got a couple crates. All right, let's get inside. Oh, this is very exciting. Ooh, all right. I'm gonna get a little picture here. Oh, we've got electrical. All right, be careful. Be very careful. There are a lot of sardines out here. Used to be a cannery though. Can I? Blue marine flare. A little stuff for our ammo making. Yes, very nice. I'm gonna head up here a little bit just to check it out. Ooh, hey, revolver. I, need. I do believe now there are revolvers in Interloper. Though very rare, maybe not on our old saves. It might have to be a new save. I'll definitely be on the lookout for it, but I kind of feel, I definitely wanna check there on Interloper. All right, these cords are okay. Just making sure. I'm gonna hacksaw now as well. Oh, there's a lot of tools in here. If you want to find how to get in here, please check my previous videos. Uh, yeah, just go back a couple of videos how to get into the cannery, and then the bleak inlet tour guide here. Okay, I just want to check the rest. Of All right, so we got a couple of tables. Plenty of lockers, more sardines. Let's go to the toilet, got a couple socks. Not bad, and we're gonna have a bed. If we have a bed roll, I guess it doesn't really matter. It sounds like that's very close. I don't wanna waste any time. Oh, we got a rope as well. Ah, interesting. Okay, so let's uh, not go that way. Definitely bad time there. So now we should be able to use oh the milling machine. So no bed. Bit of a bummer, but it, you throw down a bedroll, we'll be right as rain. All right, guys, let's check out. Oh yes, ammo making and the milling machine. Let's check out the ammo workbench first. All right, revolver cartridge. We're gonna need one bullet, one rifle shell casing, and a little bit of gunpowder. Takes about five minutes. Of course, we do have a gunsmithing skill as well. I'm gonna just go turn this off real quick. All right. Let's just see, revolver cartridge. Uh, same thing applies, just revolver shell casing instead. And six bullets. So that actually goes into the cartridge. We'll still need the cartridges. This scrap, yeah, scrap light from the car batteries. All right, so we need stuff remover, dusting sulfur, and a little bit of charcoal as well. 30 minutes. Also handy as a fire accelerant. Ooh, so it does have a double motive, even for interloper there. And nothing else goes into that one. All right, very nice. All right, but let's get into this. This is only going to work. This, I think, would work anytime. This milling machine will only work during an Aurora. Alright, so I can repair this. Let's actually go just with scrap metal too. Oh my god, really. Well, let's try it out. Oh my goodness. And of course if I had a rifle, that would probably work as well. Though... I'm gonna have to say, probably very limited ammo in that revolver. 
forward interloper. But yeah, very, very intriguing indeed. This is uh, really good stuff. Yeah, so you can remember, you need to go to the ravine basin. Uh, gonna need, quickest way, you're gonna need two ropes. One for the ravine, and then go down to the basin. And then you're gonna need another rope. After you hit the radio tower, make sure you get that code. And I know it says 1540, and there's no code. But somehow he automatically enters it anyway during an aurora. You're gonna have to wait for the aurora. I had to camp out three days. Uh, gonna be a little rough. Not gonna lie, gonna be a little rough. But, yeah, this is, uh, definitely, because you won't have, we'll have infinite... Whetstone now, whenever the Aurora is on. Brightly, gentlemen, you heard it here first here. Uh, Fluffy, oh, actually a bunch of coal as well. Fluffy probably an interloper. Uh, we'll find out soon on our run. Uh, so be sure to check in that uh, Let's Play the Long Dark Interloper series as we head on to the cannery as that as well. But all right, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button. It's up a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.